Hi, this is Amy from 777 Designs, and today we are going to go through the process of embroidering a Dicks Out for Harambe Hank. So the process always starts the same for me. Um, I sit down at my iMac in my office and I use this program called Embrilliance to edit my image that I am going to embroider and just make sure it fits in my embroidery hoop. Hi Tristan! <laughs> he always comes to visit me when I work. Um, okay, so I'm sitting down at my machine. It's a single needle uh, Brother SE 1900. Um, it embroiders and it also sews like a regular machine, so it's a combo. I sped this part up just because I do get up like a million times. <laughs> there is always something I forget, um, but I basically just started up my machine and plugged my USB in that has the image that I am going to embroider today. I have to prepare my machine for um, the image I'm going to embroider, so that usually means that I have to change the thread out, so I just snip it. Um, and then I get my two jars. The taller one is for my uh, like old needles. Um, and then the smaller one has all my thread tails. I've been saving them for a year, so the jar is pretty full. Um, so I just took out my needle and I took out the thread, put it back on my thread rack. Um, and now I have to get the right color. Black for Harambe rest in peace <laughs> so now I'm just changing my needle um, oops dropped my thread key <laughs> I always seem to do that and I'm gonna put my thread in and just thread my machine this machine has an automatic threader which is pretty nice um, so I just cut the thread tails on the machine put them in my jar seal it up because I have definitely dropped it in the past and I just clean up my workspace um, I have to go off camera to get a piece of candy and grab the stabilizer that I'm using for the day um, I also was probably talking to Tristan about his homework <laughs> so I'm back and I grab my stabilizer it is sticky back tear away so that I can float the fabric in my hoop instead of traditionally hooping it. Um, I really like this method because even though it's harder to hoop the stabilizer, um, it's really easy to like take your project off. So after I've measured the stabilizer to the hoop, I'm just cutting it and here comes the part that's kind of a pain, which is just yeah, putting it in the hoop in general and making sure that everything is nice and tight. I do spend a lot of time making sure that my stabilizer is hooped correctly. Its purpose is to give a solid foundation for the fabric and the thread. Um, without it, the design would stitch out distorted um, and the fabric would bunch up underneath. So it's just really important that I take my time um, because this is a sticky back tear away stabilizer and I am floating the fabric, um, I have to peel off the uh, like backing of it, um, which will reveal the side with the adhesive on it. And that way I can lay my fabric down on it and it will stay. After I just get these little last bits of backing off, I select my hank. It is 100% Essex dyed cotton linen in the color chambray. Now I am just taking my hank and making sure it's where I want it to be in the hoop, pressing it down, ta-da! Putting my hoop in my machine, auto threader, 
And now I will just go on my machine screen and adjust the image, make sure I know where the image's boundaries are and align it to where I want it to be on the fabric. And here we go. We are really in the home stretch now. Um, I take my embroidery hoop out of my machine and I'm just peeling my hank off. The rest of the sticky back stabilizer. Getting some of the last few bits of stabilizer out around. Um, there's usually some longer tail threads, so I do like to just cut them make sure everything looks really clean and now we have our finished 100% linen sticks out for Harambe Hake my website and materials used are listed and linked in the description below don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my youtube channel thanks for watching and i'll see you next time